Welcome to Talking Heads on USA Global TV, starring the one and only wonderful Dr. Jacqueline. It's a prestigious place where world-class influencers and experts meet, and where you'll find the most trusted advisors and coaches for all things in life and business. Visit usaglobaltv.com to sign up for our newsletter, get the value you need, and be first in line to learn about events and giveaways and other valuable content. Connect with us. Email Dr. Jacqueline at usaglobaltv.com to talk about how you can become part of USA Global TV. That's USA Global TV, where the doctor is always in. Hello and welcome. Welcome, welcome to the Wild at Heart show at USA Global TV and radio. My name is Roland. I am the founder and the host of, of the show. And actually, we already are in episode number 21. So we started in May, this amazing show, with a, uh, with a panel of, of, of different guys from different backgrounds and different areas. And it's already number 21. Yes, welcome, welcome. Wild at Heart, real, authentic, uncut, as I said, a show for men, by men, about men. So if you're joining us for the first time, uh, we discuss here in uh, different guys uh, discuss here, like like we did, you know, hundreds and thousands of years ago, sitting around a bonfire and have a conversation of different topics. That's what we're doing here, not on a bonfire, it's virtually. Uh, we're broadcasting, uh, everyone is joining from different parts of the world. Myself, uh, I introduce myself, I'm Roland, I'm originally from Austria. I see myself as a world traveler. Uh, and right now I'm broadcasting from Spain, from Valencia. I'm traveling and working remotely in my motorhome. So from Spain, welcome. Buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos noches, wherever you're joining us on a TV station or social media platform, or just listening, also was also cool on a radio station or on a podcast. So the topic today is actually the importance of supplements. And this is a topic, I think, especially also for men. I mean, women are must more in nutrition and, and healthy and supplementing. For men, yes, for those who do sports, but when we're getting older, I guess we need to supplement to bridge the gap between what we sh should eat and what we actually eat. And this is a topic we're going to talk about today. Not sophisticated, uh, not on the science base, but with our own experience, what we are doing, what is our ex experience. And yeah, so let's get started. And I welcome my first uh, gentleman, my first panelist. Welcome from Germany, dear Christian. Hello. Welcome back on the Wild at Heart Show. Hi. Hi, Roland. How are you doing? Hope you're doing hi. good. Hi, hi, hi! Great to see you again. I'm, I'm fine. How are you, man? Oh, I'm, I'm really good, and I'm really uh, into this topic. Um, I'm really curious, as I'm now 48 years old, and I'm uh, really curious about uh, what you have to say. As I know, you're experimenting much more than I do with this supplements and uh, food styles, stuff like that. So I'm really curious for this show. Yeah, thank you. Yes, I'm already 58, so I have to do something, of course. Yes, I will share my experience too. But first of all, let's uh, welcome our um, next analyst. Uh, welcome from Poland, dear Martin. Martin, welcome back. Hi, everyone. Hi, Christian. Hi, everyone. Martin, so, hi. as I can see, uh, about uh, the difference in our ages uh, is almost iconic when I see our screen. But um, mm, we are uh, also in a different uh, ages. So uh, if we can do some kind of a trial, we would have like uh, three levels of it. Yes, yes, absolutely. I just texting us guys because uh, Munir wants to join us and maybe got the wrong link. Uh, okay, okay, cool. Maybe he's joining us and then we bring him uh, also from backstage here on the show, gentlemen. Yeah, Marcin, thanks. You didn't see you a long time. Actually, Marcin and myself, we had this amazing The Earth Show. Uh, actually, two hours ago we started and we talked about our own experience with how we contribute to respect Mother Earth and food was part of it. So we, we continue a little bit about um, supplements. And, and I said, as I said in the beginning, you know, nutrition was actually in the past more or less of female earth stuff. You know, women were much more into nutrition. Maybe it's because from our history that, that females cook and, and care about the family and, and provide them with nourishing uh, and, uh, food. But it's more and more uh, men that, that jump in. Uh, it started with for those guys who who was who have been into sports. Yeah, the supplement for. I don't know for more better performance or a faster recovery phase or 
um, in prevention of, of getting hurt or something like that. But more and more men come into it. And as I said, more and more men come into it. We another have another one. Welcome from Egypt, my dear friend, Mohamed Munir. Hi, Munir. Hello, Roland. Hi, Marcin. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you guys? Really sorry for being this mess for, for the link. Oh, it happened to me too because we provided so many shows and that we <laughs> missed the show. So, happened to me too, man. But good to have you on the show. Good to see you, my dear friend, about uh, nutrition supplement. And before we start discussions, uh, gentlemen, if you missed one of the other shows and you want to know more about ourselves or you want to see the recordings we have amazing topics really amazing topics from different angles perspectives please go on our website bonfiredogs.com there you will have all the other episodes you will also have the announcement of the next episodes uh, shows but you also can contact us and you also can contact directly each of these good looking Gentlemen, and also, please, please, please uh, share this website, uh, talk to other guys. And when you have you have a topic that you want to discuss, please let us know. You're more than welcome. Or maybe if you're interested to join us on the show, uh, why not? Let us know. Okay, go on bonfiredogs.com and communicate. So, gentlemen, let's get started about supplements, the importance of supplements. And uh, I know, Christian, that you are very in sport and martial arts and other stuff. Are you supplementing? How long? What are you doing? What is important for you? Why are you doing? What's the benefit? Well, that's a very good question. Um, the time I did uh, Taekwondo is now a few years ago, and I was um, training like seven to eight times a week. And I didn't even supplement anything. I just ate. So I just had regular food. Um, well, I think it was quite good in, in, in the, in the differences I made. I had some vegetables, I had some, some fruit, some, some meat, some, um, noodles, rice, stuff like that. So it was quite mixed and, um, I never, well, it, it wasn't the time, I guess it was uh, like in the, from the eighties to the nineties there, um, in, in, in my social, um, social life there weren't many people uh who really took care about what they ate so it was just you eat what what is there or what is cheap or what is um fast to be prepared so um and right now i, I find it kind of difficult with this supplement stuff because there's so much on the market and if you if you try to get real good stuff like as a as a regular consumer you you don't have the chance to really f um, to really find out if if this is a really good product or if it only has really good marketing because yes okay there are some 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 companies they say okay we only use natural stuff we don't put in anything which has been um, industrial industrial made or something like that but in fact you have to you have to trust what the what the website says because you never can measure out the the ingredients and stuff like that so it's quite hard for me and i think um it can't be the right way to to choose um the most expensive stuff because because i don't think that only because of it is expensive it is good um as friends of mine for for example they told me that they have i don't know what kind of supplement it was but in fact this 100 gram little thing costed about i don't know 50 euros or something and then a friend of mine came to me and he said oh man i found the same stuff and it's printed for horses which is the exact same ingredients and there this 10 kilo um basket is about 20 euros so, and it was just exact the same <laughs> stuff and i was like okay this can't be and he, yes i'm going to eat it and well he was he was doing good with this stuff so it's it's kind of hard for me to to um to tell what 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 am i going to take what not and the other thing is um that i think a lot of people maybe me included i don't have the sensitivity to really feel what the supplement does to me or if it does anything to me. So I'm, I'm kind of, 
I don't know. Should I take something or don't? Well, I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm really don't really have a, a exact straight path or opinion about supplements. Thank you. Well, uh, first of all, I was smiling when you talked about the horse. I, mean, I, I'm, I strongly believe what is good for horses is good for us too. I mean, it's just nature, you know. What is good for an animal is, is good for us too. <laughs> if, if it's good, if it really is good for the horse, you know. If the horse is not suffering, then it's good for us too. Anyway, of course, you know, a horse needs a lot of power and they have to stay healthy. Absolutely. Okay, Marcinio, smiling. Uh, you're the youngest here in this in this in this panel. Are you supplementing? Did you think about it, or what's your experience? Yeah, this um, information about the horse just got me. <laughs> so I just imagine the guy, you know, scooping like the whole spoons of it. Just, I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, I look at the supplements from maybe a little bit different angle. Um, as uh, I studied biology and not only from this source, but I'm also very curious about nature. So when I was just a little boy, I was uh, reading through all the book with 100 species of plants that you can find around uh, in this area in the wild that are healthy uh, have some you know health uh, purposes so um, from the young age i was interested in uh, different herbs and how they work and uh, that knowledge led me to question also all those supplements because it in in most cases of those herbs that i was learning about the information was that the um, what these can do as a medicine it can be done just by using it like on the regular basis and also picking this herb in the very special time during this year to be for it to be effective so then when i see on different packages um written in polish or in latin I can read Latin as well, uh, pretty much. Uh, just some minor fraction of an essence or of, of the tea made of this herb. Uh, they contain like one thousandths or, or whatever. And then they claim that this little tablet will give you the same uh, benefit as drinking the whole tea. You know, so... Um, and, and I don't know how about regulations in your countries, but in Poland, uh, I could start to make supplements and sell it legally. And no one will ever check if it is good for you or not. Uh, so uh, I'm very skeptical, very skeptical here. Yeah. Hey, it's good to be skeptical because, you know, when, 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 you, when you swallow something, you should exactly know what it is, if it's good or not. Absolutely. Or yeah, at I know least that if you need to pay some money for it, right? And it promises to work, but uh, you need to fact check if it is even possible with so little dosage. Yeah, I mean, before I uh, before I start to um I I, I I I strongly believe there's no miracle pill on the market. There's no there's a lot of advertising and on promotion or whatever. There's no there's no miracle pill. I, I supplement. I will talk later about it. I supplement. I do for for different reasons. Um, but there's no miracle on, on the market. And, and actually, as, 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 as also Christian said before, it's a huge market, you know. When I started supplementing uh, 30 years ago, there was almost nothing on the market. And now it's a huge, huge business. And everybody is shouting louder what he what this product can do. But yeah, we go deep a little bit later. But first of all, I want to ask my dear friend in the Far East, are men supplementing especially? Are you supplementing? Yes or no? Why not? Why yes? All right. Okay. So, uh, so long journey um, with the supplements. Um, uh, uh, I never used supplements for the bodybuilding and so on, and it was uh, not for the sports. Um, in the good old days, when I was really uh, into the sports and going to the gym with the bodybuilding and so on, um, the uh, uh, it was not really that market, that advanced market yet. And we did not have this kind of the luxury of getting imported product or giving uh, or having it from a different countries and manufacturers and so on. It was um, local things, injections, and um, um, uh, it, mainly it was with the injections. And um, the bad repetition about it is that it gives you a lot of stamina 
and it uh, blow up the muscles very fast and make it uh, make it um, uh, you know in 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 a sense that it's um, uh, you really feel the difference and you really feel the 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 impact. However, it has a lot of negative impact on the health. Um, and uh, uh, strangely enough, it was really that the impact on the health was about the um, manhood itself. You know, it's uh, the fertility, uh, being able to perform during the intimate relationship and so on, which was really um, uh, strange. Um, uh, because it, it it used to give much more of the hormones of the um, uh, men hormones and then it's uh, it's uh, building up the muscles how can it do uh, the other side effect but anyway so I was always staying away from it I did not have it I did not recommend it for anyone and um, and I remember it was uh, there was this kind of uh, uh, um, of, uh, of case that I knew um, where it was uh, it, the 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 man was really heavy on supplement and doing a lot of injections and so on in order to be um, uh, you know very strong in in terms of the muscle structure and he was really um, uh, very strong on that on that regards. However, a um, couple of years after the marriage and uh, uh, he got divorced because of being not capable of you know going further with the uh, relationship uh, the intimate relationship so that was that was the 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 the, um, the initial things when i was a teenager when i was doing you know the gym and trying to make the the the, uh, the body looks good and so on so i stayed away from it uh, all the time um recently starting from uh, you know the age of 40 um i started learning that there are certain things you have to start giving uh, to yourself in order to um, uh, feed um, the minerals and the, uh, some of the things that you do not, your body is not really um, sucking out of the food and getting out of the food. It's like the omega three for the for the um, for the memory and so on. It's uh, multivitamins. Um, the things related with the, um, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, aspirin for, you know, making the blood pressure. Um, uh, okay, so those are the supplements that uh, since the age of 40, I'm, 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 I'm regularly using. Um, um, but it's a little bit different than the supplements for the, for the sports. Thank you, Munir, for sharing that. Yeah, thank you, Munir. Yeah, actually, you know, there's so much, as you all said, there's so much stuff on the market, you know, there are vitamins, there are minerals, or there are what you mentioned, Munir, and especially when you do bodybuilding, there's steroids, uh, to, uh, just just to build up muscle, but what I absolutely would never, ever recommend because I because I, I see it from other guys who, who, who train hard and do the steroids, then then. Uh, they look like uh, I don't know, like a bull or like a gorilla, but uh, it's not healthy. They have health problems. They have skin problems. And as you said, performance when it's dark with your spouse, it's not working anymore for most of them. I know that. that yeah, it's really challenging. Well, but my my personal history on, on supplement is um, when I was very very in my young years, and actually I did martial arts. I shot the karate many many years. I was still doing now. Uh, I was playing, uh, I don't know how to say, hand, handball. I was handball as a professional list playing. And then I, I, I jumped into the runner's world. I did marathons and 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 100 mile races and 24 hour races and like that. And to be honest, I never supplemented. First of all, it was never a topic for me. Um, I didn't think about it. Uh, I Even during a race, I just was taking uh, water during the race. I was taking uh, when they were offered bananas or something like that. Yeah, but I never took any artificial stuff for any whatever was on the market or came on the market. Never, ever, never, ever, never did this. Um, so it was never a thing about supplementing for me and, and taking any bro and any broth. I know when I was a kid, when uh, it was winter time, flu time, my mom gave my brother and my uh, uh, some some tablets that you put in water and it's sparkling and it has some vitamins and stuff like in and she she believed in that and she gave us a uh, a, a kind of, of of juice that has minerals and vitamins and it, when we took it it was sweet taste was okay 
but many years afterwards, I, I found out it was just for laughing. <laughs> I got a lot of, I, I got a, lot, a, a huge sugar bomb, but not, not really the benefits of any ingredients. And and then actually, uh, almost thirty years ago, I, I, you know, I, I tried different stuff. Also. I, I tried different time, uh, uh, different lifestyles, other uh, different nutritions, uh, different diets. Also, I was a, uh, was a vegetarian for many years. I I was a vegan for nine months. Actually, really a vegan for nine months. I tried it out. Uh, I was carnivore. I was frugivore. So I tried different things out, and I was always very interested in, in 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 vegetables and fruits and my mom told me actually i don't have the memory for that time but my mom told me that as a kid i never was into the sweets i was more a meat and and vegetable eater and um so vegetables was always a part of me i'm i'm, 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 st I'm still eating meat but high quality but a lot of vegetables and i did a lot of research on vegetables and and, and stuff like that and then uh, about 30 years ago I found out that the quality of the vegetable is not any more than it has been before because the soil does not have all the stuff because we, you know, we give the agriculture got in, industrialized and it will put a lot of fertilizer are in, in the soil. So the, so the, the ingredients are, are going down, down, down. So there are less vitamins, there are less minerals, less phytochemicals, a lot of study on, on, on that market. Uh, and then the other thing is um, normally, you know, what for my grandma, uh, we had the, the berries in the garden, the strawberries, or the potatoes, or the cherries on the tree, or the walnuts, we we, we took them from from the tree or from 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 the ground when it was mature, when it's time to eat them, because when they smelled good, when they had a good color, when when it tasted good, but uh, the, the stuff that we can buy in, in a supermarket, even when it's organic, even when it's organic, uh, it doesn't have the ingredients because they have to harvest it much earlier. Uh, because otherwise it, 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 it's on, on the way to the supermarket or the farmer, it's, it's going to rotten when it's fully in the mature. So they harvest it uh, much earlier to, trans to store it and transport it. And what I learned from research is, and my own studies is, then most of the ingredients are not in, in this fruit, in, in the vegetables, in the berries, because most of these ingredients, they, 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 the plant produces them in the last seven, 10 days of maturement. So it's not in. It's a lot of studies that it's not in. So I, I, I was interested in, in yeah, how, how to bridge this gap, you know, because I cannot, I, I eat a lot of, of vegetables, yes, but to be realistic, I cannot eat what, for example, the, the World Health Organization is, or the Cancer Organization are, is um, recommending uh, 10 to 12 servings of fruits and vegetables, each one. It's it's a, it's a hell. I don't have the time of it uh, to, to do it. I, I, don't, I can't eat it. I can't digest it much. So I was looking for something, and I I, I said, okay, I, I will supplement just to bridge the gap between what I should eat and what I actually do eat on a daily basis. Of course, you know, I mean, now I have more time when I'm um, 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 here in my motor, but, but before, you know, I was traveling a lot, where a lot of busy, building up my businesses. So maybe on the weekend when my wife or my girlfriend prepared me a nice fruit salad or when I was a hotel, I was eating stuff like that, but not on a daily basis. So I, I did a lot of research on, on supplements. And for me, first of all, was, I'm guys, you know me. I, that's why the reason I do the Earth Show too is I'm, I, 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 I know that Mother Earth and nature knows exactly what it's doing. And so, when, when, for me, a supplement is a good one. This is a natural product. Not, first of all, not an artificial one. First of all, not an artificial one. Secondly, a natural, meaning a natural one, not an artificial. And then, I guess it must have said it. Uh, some some companies uh, say uh, this product has this and this and this and does the same like this and this and this. Not it does not, but they, they extract a few things. Uh, what I found the last thirty years, I'm, I'm into in, into this um, in this science is. And every time when they find a new ingredient that is very helpful in 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 in, 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 in a scientific research, yeah? um, I remember many years ago, lycopene came up. This is the red color of the tomato. Lycopene came up. It's a very good. It's very good uh, cancer protection. What they did it, they extracted it and sold them a lycopene product. And we know it's not working because the tomato not only has lycopene, it has ten thousands of other so-called phytochemicals. It's not about only about vitamins and minerals. And it's in, and enzymes. Uh, we need the phytochemicals. Phytochemicals are the, the color, the smell, the taste. There are ten thousands of phytochemicals, and you cannot build this in a, in, in a bill or in a capsule or whatever it is. So it, it's fruits and vegetables. They're the whole fruit. So I was looking for a product that bring gives me the whole fruit and vegetables. That's what what I meant to it. Not 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 that extract. Not not ten or ten or twenty or thirty ingredients. Not the, I want to have all of them because. 
we we cannot we cannot produce it it's impossible and secondly there are so many other ingredients on phytochemicals in fruits and vegetables that even we don't know it so we have to take the whole fruit and vegetable i, I found I, I found a product and i have to tell something here i'm not a paid spokes person for the, for this company absolutely not i take it since actually since june 1994 so a little bit more than 28 years and it's, it's just natural and I, I, so it's nine different fruits, nine different berries, nine different vegetables, and they also supplement a lot, really a lot, lot of omega, but not only omega three, also omega five, six, seven, and nine. And I do it on a vegan basis. I'm not a vegan, but the point is, you can get omega from plants, but you can also get it from fish. And I don't like. I love fish, yes, on the grill, on the barbecue, yes, I love it, but not. I don't like the fish oil. In a capsule, I, I, I cannot because I, I don't know what, what, what the word for it is. But as a kid, I, my, my mom gave me spoon wise, my brother, and myself, this in German, we say Levertron. Sorry, guys, no, that, that's no chance. And on the other hand, we, we don't know how toxic in between uh, many, many fish species are. So I take it on, on, a, on a weekend base. But I, I understood that omega 3 is not enough, and you only you need six at least omega 3, 6, 2. But I do three, five, six, seven and nine and i do this to bridge the gap what i understood is it's not about uh supplementing because i have a, 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 i'm suffering from a, a, a vitamin c gap and my, my teeth fall out that's not about that it's not about uh, be, being healthy it's about being more than healthy being fit being capable to perform to stay focused to be fit not to get sick so for example when a when flu season is I, I really double, triple four times uh, of this. And sometimes I do uh, uh, additional supplements. Just during the pandemic, during the COVID, I did high doses in addition of vitamin C, vitamin D, free uh, vitamin D and, and zinc and other stuff. So I, I strongly believe it's working, absolutely. Uh, that's why I'm doing it. Uh, but as, as you guys said, there's a lot of stuff on the market. Uh, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of business. And what, what what I found out the, the most expensive one is not always the best one, but I I I, um, I spend the money on that uh, as I said since twenty eight years because what I learned is if I don't spend it for good nutrition in general not only for supplements for good nutrition I will spend later spend it for the doctor or from any pharmaceuticals what 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 till now I'm still not taking any pharmaceutical any any stuff. Unless, as long as I don't have an accident and I'm unconscious, it will sometimes happen. I'm in the hospital and they give me something, yeah. But I never take anything. So what I do is when I feel sick or when a flu is coming up, I do something what I learned from my grandma, and I do something what I see from my dog and when from my cat when they don't feel good, I stop eating. I stop just eating, so the energy goes not in the stomach to the chest. The energy just goes in my immune system, and I just. I've never been aware about it. I learned it much, much later. When I was a kid, I was eating certain kind of fruits that helped me detoxing and, and, and cleansing and a lot of water. That's what I did. And I get a body a lot of rest because I guess the species, not only the animals, but also the human beings, we are, we are much longer on earth than any pharmaceutical company is operating. And the years before, we also survived. So we, we already know uh, that what we have to do to when to stay healthy, or when we 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 when we get the flu or something, that we just give the body the 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 yeah the chance to to rest and and relax. So there was a long speech. So I supplement, but as I said, not not any artificial stuff, a natural stuff, and a whole a whole product. So this is a product. There is the whole fruit and the whole vegetable is in. They just brought the, what what they did it. The harvest is on the highest point. So that all the, the phytochemicals are in, yeah. So this is fruit that you can't sell on the market because when it's the highest point, you know, it's 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 soft, you know. You cannot transport it, you cannot store it, yeah. But it smells good. And I, I remember when 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 I was a kid in, in my my grandma's garden, you know, when you have these fresh strawberries, they smell. They had a smell. They had a taste and the color. Sorry for this, but like, but not this this shit you get in the supermarket yeah it's just this water so this and, and these are the uh, phytochemicals see, that you have an old fruit vegetable so they harvest them on the highest point uh they, they make a juice out of it they have the juice and the dresser and what they do is to store it they all this form the stories what to bring out the water 
because there is water in, then it will merge. So they bring slowly, slowly the water out by on low temperatures to preserve the ingredients. And you have this powder that's in a capsule, in a vegan capsule, by the way. You swallow this capsule with a lot of water. The, water, yeah? the capsule opens, the powder mixes with the water, and you have the ingredients of 27 different fruits, vegetables, and berries, like a juice, without the sugar. So it's also for diabetes. That's what I'm taking. And what's the benefit of it? And I guess Christian was asking, uh, how, how can I feel something? To be honest, in the beginning, nothing. And then a very famous doctor told me, Roland, be happy, because if you could feel something, a difference, then you had already had a problem in, the, in your body. So if you don't feel any difference, that's good that you're on the track. Yeah, but it's the same when when you, I don't know when I don't know guys do, uh, if you're brushing your teeth, but do you see any difference when you brush your teeth? Well, hopefully not. Yeah, but you do it as a as a, pre, a form of prevention. That's what I'm taking. It. But what I know from scientific is when you, when when you when you take your blood and you look in your cells, it it makes a difference. Yes, but I didn't feel a difference in the beginning. Nothing at all because I I was fit. I was eating more or less healthy. Of course, with cheaters, I didn't feel any difference, but yeah, that's 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 my point. But I never went into steroids or stuff like that. Even when I was um, in the gym or when I did martial arts, never ever because I saw these guys. You know, they really look heavy and impressive. But I know from the girls, from my engagements, that there was nothing going on anymore. Anyway, <laughs> okay. So I had, a, I had a long speech. I, I well, thought I, I thought that this is something related with the Middle East and so on because of that efficacy and and things. I did not know that it is uh, something that is really makes this effect even um, in the advanced countries. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, I, 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 there's, there, there's actually there's many research on that. You know that that the, the non-professionals, yeah, that. Uh, and who, who do just for fun do do bodybuilding or these heavy workouts? They use much more steroids than the professionals, much more because they want to be faster, faster, and they don't have any medical advice. So the, the professionals have a medical advice on the side. Of course, they go on on their borders, on the boundaries, but it's really dangerous for the non-professionals who don't have any medical advice and any medical support. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, especially when when the kids growing kids 14, 15, 16 years old, these products are really dangerous for them. Absolutely. Yeah, stay away from them. Stay away from them. But guys, do you never take any vitamin products or when you have a cramp, magnesium, when you do sports, when you sweat a lot or something like that? Where wants to jump in? Well, the, this is, I mean, uh, uh, the, the, like the vitamins, this is what I'm saying. It's, um, it's okay at that point of time, uh, um, you know, starting, um, I don't know if it's true or not, but it's everyone uh, here uh, is like, you know, when you reach the age of 40, your body does not really um, absorb and take the vitamin. Your metabolism is not the same. You need to have something to support the, um, uh, the, the, the body so that you, um, uh, the, the food supplement, the vitamins and so on would definitely give you a better health, a better, you know, uh, um, um, balance it, um, you know, vitamins inside your, your body and so on. That's, that, that's it. So that's, I think it, this is normal. And I, I think it is the effect of those kind of, um, of bills and, and drugs uh, are under the, the um, authorities. It is a drug. It is being sold in the pharmacy. And this will make it much more, you know, um, safer uh, to consume. Absolutely, absolutely. But the, the point is, what, what I also learned, really, I, I digged into this 30 years ago, and uh, I, get, I guess I, I got a lot of knowledge out of this. Uh, when, when you supplement high, vitamins in a high dose, you can do it for short term, short, but not, but, but never ever on the long term. Yeah, But for the short term, it makes sense. But you have to be care about some vitamins like like uh, E and A, you know, this are you who, who need fat to absorb. This can be dangerous. There are a lot of studies out of that that this can be dangerous. If you those vitamin C on a high dose, nothing is going to happen. Maybe you have a, a little bit of an expensive urine when you go to the toilet because the body cannot absorb everything. So most of them, you you flash down, uh, you flash down. Um, but if you do the other ones like e, e and A, that can be dangerous when you when you put it on a high dose on a, on a long term, not not on a short term when you cure something. Um, 
Yeah, well, then we, when you question about, um, actually, when I, when I, sometimes when I go to the supermarket and, and, and I, you guys, you know, I always buy at local uh, farmers, uh, producers, but sometimes I go to the supermarket because I need something to drink or toilet paper, or whatever. And then I look through the shelves and, uh, Sometimes I do it with one of my best friends. Is that hey, let's maybe we find a product from our childhood. Maybe there's something left that we know from our childhood. So something we go through supermarket and we find something from our childhood. Well, it's a really funny thing. Um, but then I sometimes I see really in the shelves uh, that so many products, cereals for kids, uh, even cheese, drinks, whatever. Uh, they added a lot of vitamins and, and people believe that it's healthy. No, stay away. It's artificial stuff. Stay away. I never buy any product, even for my dog and my cat, I never buy any product that has uh, edited artificial vitamins or anything because I know it's not good. You're just spending money. If it's like vitamin C, it's okay. You just, it, 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 it goes through. But if it's a, a A, E or D, meaning when it is, what's the name for it? In German, it's fat uh, When it's fat, fat soluble. When it's fat soluble, then it can be dangerous. So really, stay away. That's that's what I found in research from Minnesota. And and when you when you when you buy water or with with vitamins, then it's not a natural one. It's an artificial one. Yeah, but when when you believe in it, I, I, I'm, it can help. You know, I'm, I'm, a few weeks ago, I was in France in Lourdes. I saw. I spent there four nights, and I said every night I saw thousands and thousands of people oh, in in Lourdes in this on this holy Christian place, um, and they had a strong belief in that. Yeah, when you believe in it, maybe it can help. But from scientific space, we know that it's not helping. Uh, a few people are making money. Um, then is the other question: Can your skin absorb vitamins from our studies? From from normal from studies no i mean the, the, the question is always who sponsors the study who has an interest in this in the study <laughs> then that makes a difference in the result but our skin no you can only take vitamins if you eat fruits vegetables or in a good quality meat and by the way guys what i found out this way i'm a meat eater is when you eat a good quality meat meaning grass-fed beef it is very high in vitamins, especially when you eat the liver and the heart of the animal. It's very high in vitamins. Absolutely, most people don't know. Uh, and I would 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 add to that for uh, the best for the skin is a lot of water. As long as you're you're putting a lot of water inside of your body, the skin will definitely be healthier. Absolutely, a lot of water and 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 no smoking. What I, what I, what I see, especially by 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 the female ladies when they smoked heavy. Uh, the long time the skin is good, but then the elasticity goes with 40, 45. Boom, you can see the difference. Bang, you see it from heavy smoke, especially from ladies. Yeah? So for a good skin, uh, no smoking. And as, as Munir said, yeah, drink plenty of water, water, water. That's very, very... Because, you know, by the way, water is not a supplement, but water is very, very healthy. Good water. Uh, it helps you absolutely. Because water is not only when you're thirsty... Uh, actually, 80, 85 percentage of our body is water. Body is a transport, uh, is transporting the stuff in our blood system. But uh, it's it's transporting through the urine, through the liver, the the toxic stuff out. So it's really good. I think it's kind of funny what we humans do with these uh, supplement stuff, um, because I think a uh, a regular working body who does a little bit of workout, which is like natural um, because I don't think that weightlifting and bodybuilding is something that our body really wants or needs. We tend to, to take the easy way and um, go into this, I don't know the, the name into the shop and you get these supplements. Like I know, I know guys, they have 20 or 30 of those little um, bottles and stuff like that of supplements um, instead of just eat healthy, because I think a, a natural and good um, nutrition gives us everything we need. We are not working um, so hard with with our bodies that we have um, extreme. Uh, well, we we don't lift heavy weights and stuff like that. So why the sorry? Why should we need um, supplementing stuff? We don't we don't use it even. Um, in in a, in a way, who who will like um, stand for that? Like, 
that we have to get supplements. If you, of course, you can take magnesium um, if you have a cramp, but that just tells me you don't have enough magnesium in your food before. So I, I think the more, the, the, the much more healthier way, even in, in, um, in taking care of the world is um, buy your stuff at the local dealer who does it in, uh, in bio, like, like um, organic organic yes and i don't think that there is no need for supplements if and and if i get a cold well okay i take hot water put some some lemons inside some honey with it and that's it so i don't need to supplement industrial supported stuff i, I don't see the point and yeah um, most of the stuff and um well is is expensive like hell so like this uh, pure organic vegetable uh, pills, stuff like that. In, I don't know for for a month or for three months. It's like one hundred, two hundred dollars or or euros. So I can buy a lot of good vegetables for that. I don't see the point in in, in supplements. So well, I, I I think Christian, for me, the best is of course a good nutrition. But you have to be realistic. Most people don't have the time because they're working, they don't have the time to buy the stuff fresh every day for organically prepared every day. Most people don't have the time. And as, as I said in the beginning, uh, uh, it's for me, it's bridging the gap because uh, fruits and vegetables don't have the ingredient we had years ago. And it's not, it's not about, it's not about building up muscles or doing sports. It's, it's not supplements. And this was my belief in, uh, before I, I got into uh, supplementing myself because I said, I, I don't need I'm this. I don't, I'm, yeah. With the sports thing, um, uh, there's something in our chat, um, for bigger muscles and chiseled muscle tone after a certain age, not happening without supplements. I know yoga women, they are 55 and 60 and they won't take supplements for sure. Um, they look amazing. They have bodies like 30 year olds. So I think it is very much a mindset thing as well as a body workout thing. If you do yoga, stretch, have a relaxed life without a lot of stress, that would make a lot to your body as well as to your face and as to your um your charisma that's my I, opinion I, and that's I, that's how i, I see totally, I, I totally agree with it but we have to be realistic most people don't have a, st a stressless life they don't have access to it they don't have the time so they have to do something and, and no, they I, have to change I, their even when it's expensive I, mean, I, I spend a hell of money on, on supplements but I spend also a hell of money to go to the service uh, for my car. And I even think about it when the dealer says for my Mercedes, 1,500 euros, we just checked your oil, we just checked this, and I paid. And I don't you know think about it. Do? You know what I would do? I would drive yeah. that car on the roads it was made for and not on roads it wasn't built for. Yeah, but you have to you have, you have to service your car, but otherwise it breaks down the engine and that's more expensive. But, okay, I, I put it like I meant it. The thing is, if my life makes me look like shit, I change my life, not my diet. Yeah, of of course, of course. But uh, no, no, uh, but on the other hand, I, I think that we have to be realistic. It's not for everyone. It's not for everyone. Like, I think it I, is I, for a friend, everyone. That's a friend, why I'm doing my job. I, I tell you something. I, I, I did. I did a lot of uh, yoga retreats from Mallorca, and I had uh, people, really famous people. And, and there was one lady there. He was. She was promoting going outside in the wild and collect herbs and stuff like that. And then the other lady said, "I'm a lawyer. I'm working sixty to seventy hours a week. No time." The other was a, a medical doctor in the hospital. Says, "I work all them. No time. Tell us something that." is realistic that we can implement in our daily life because for most people it's not realistic i mean most people like myself or you christian they don't have the the time to do it most people because on the other side they don't have the money to buy good stuff or they have money but they don't have the time to prepare it it's always you have money and no time or you have no money and time that, that's that's the most problem it's the same with food we have to be realistic not not everyone well, I, is uh, has is, is like you know, has a life like we do. I have a uh, a slightly different opinion to that, and this is why I'm doing my job. I'm helping people to have the relaxed lives because I'm definitely um, thinking that everyone who wants that can come to a life like that. Okay, what do you think, Marcel, or Monia? 
Well, uh, I must say my heart goes with Christian this time, and uh, you know I'm I'm smiling because uh, we started about supplements, but now we are actually I think talking about our fear of death, our fear of looking old, our fear of being sick, and I believe those fears uh, didn't come from nothing. We just started to be so much afraid for our own lives that we live those stressful lives. And because we have very stressful and unbalanced lives, we are, not, we are sick. And then we think, well, maybe I will buy these magical supplements and it will work like this magic potion and everything will be okay again, even though I will have like a terrible day tomorrow so yeah i totally believe that there is something deeper in it and the whole you know run for supplements and vitamins and how come we start we started to uh, care so much for our skin tone why is it so important even you know and why is it so important to have those ideal proportions of our bodies and being fit yeah, I do believe that uh, we need to change and manage every part of our lives because these managing things actually makes us nervous, make us afraid, and we just do not want to be helpless. I think that's it. And it is like human nature. I'm not judging. I'm on the same side here, right? So I think it just tells us something about ourselves. Why is it so important if I take or do not take any supplements, you know? Uh, thank you, Marcin. Absolutely. Gentlemen, unfortunately, we ran out of time. So it was a really good discussion. We ran out of time. Sorry, we have to close up. So ladies and gentlemen, wherever you're watching us or listening to us, thanks a lot. Uh, yeah, we are more than, than, than eager to know what you are doing. Are, are you supplementing? Yes or not? What is your opinion? Uh, get in contact with us. Go on our website, bonfiredogs.com. And if you have another topic that you want to have discussed, also, please contact us. Uh, we are more than open for any discussion. Thanks. I thank you, Christian. Thanks for your time and energy and for, for your um, contribution. Martin, my friend, thank you, too, uh, for your contribution and also Munir. And ladies and gentlemen, go on our website, bonfiredogs.com. And if you're interested in all other shows, there are all other colleagues and shows are really amazing. Go on USA Global TV dot com and if you want to follow us on the next show next wednesday same time same station we talk about those guys who don't take any supplements who fear death no what's the other way around anyway next time we talk about death uh and how we prepare as we are golding getting older thanks a lot stay healthy whatever you're doing stay healthy bye bye